Hello, um, everybody, and um, welcome to the next uh, yeah episode on my uh, blog. Today, um, I don't have any slalom tips, but um, as you all know, um, slalom is getting to a point where in light wind we'll probably do slalom foil, and then maybe um, in a couple of years the big slalom board might die out and we'll be um, doing um, slalom in the lighter winds on slalom foil and then first go on the on the fin board uh, like a medium board um, 118 liters or so and maybe use from 8.0 downwards and above that you will go on your, your slalom foil setup and um, on that remark i would like to um, do a little bit of unboxing so um, first of all i would like to say that um, some of you probably wonder um, where does all this nice gear come from and stuff like that i am a team writer for a little danish surf shop called surfgear.dk and um, they provide me with gear i pay for it um, of course and um, I use the brands um, they sell, um, so that's it. I'm not. Um, I'm trying to stay as objective as as possible, and you'll also see today I'll be comparing uh, this uh, new foil I got with an old foil from another brand that um, Surfgear isn't um, selling. So um, also some of the other stuff I use in my other videos, some I get from Surfgear.dk, and and some I order online or buying surf shop if i see something interesting i will go ahead buy it test it out and let you know um, my thoughts about it but um, with no further ado this came in the mail today i have um, taken it out of the card box um, and um, it's um, the, the brand new slalom bundle from um, f4 foils um, and I'm really, um, I saw a webinar with, um, on a Four Foils uh, YouTube channel um, with Anton Albo talking about this um, setup. And um, I'm really intrigued because um, the front wings compared to um, what I'm used to from the IQ foil are very, very small. But Albo said that, and he's a big guy, I'm not that big as Albo, uh, <laughs> even though the camera adds 10 pounds. Um, and he said that for most of it, these relatively small front rings um, have enough lift even for him in light winds. So me being lighter, I'm I'm looking forward to maybe could go on the smallest of the front wings um, in in hope of getting less drag and more speed. But um, let's um, see what um, that's in the um, bag here. So I'll just um, run through it. And <clears throat> of course it comes in a nice bag. It looks like a bag from a, another file company also, but um, we'll look to that. Um, there are two um, uh, fusilages. I think this is the short one. Um, finish is um, really great. It's, it's um, CNC made aluminium. Um, and I'll do some close-up, but it's it's pretty unique with this um, two screws beside each other, not all of them on a row. Um, so I'm looking forward to testing this out and see if I can feel any, if it's more stiff than the IQ foil, which, which has the four screws on a row. This has five screws, I think. We'll see when we get to the front wing. So one shoe slash. The other fuselage, this would be the shorter one, and then there's a mast, and this mast, um, I could see on the F4 website, is the same for all of the um, race and free race foils, so you get one mast, and also the the, what should you say, the, um, 
the the wings and stuff like that fits you can take a race wing put on your slalom foil fuselage and stuff like that you can change them um switch them around found your own favorite setup let's see if it fits yeah So one mast, and then what else do we got? We got a 700 front wing. Yeah, so it has um, five holes. So exciting to see how that if it gives some better stiffness and how the how the fitting is so i hadn't had time i received the the file at work and i didn't have time to look at it before now so you are seeing it as i'm seeing it right now so one that's the smaller front wing i think let's see then there's two back wings Yeah, and as all there's a little print code here, so you can see what size size it is, and um, something um, unique for the for the forefoil is that the back wing mounts not this way, but the same way as the front wing. So that's definitely different. And makes it easier when you have the mast and the board, just put it all and all the screws from the top. So it probably will make life easier. So one back wing, I don't know if you can see it, we'll put it here. And another one. So this is gonna be a long video as I have to unpack it all as we speak. Yeah, this is the smaller one. Finish seems nice. And then there's the big, big one. Yeah. So, yeah. bigger than that one. So, and really, um, they seem to be really high aspect, um, not a lot of um, width in the file, so exciting, should be the most effective way. So just put it in there, and then let's see. What else do we got? There needs to be some screws somewhere. Here are some blue things, very small. I think these are um, shims for the rear wings, so you can change the angle. Yeah, let's just do a close up of these later. A little blue and very good pack. Then there are some other shims. I don't know what they are for, but they're pretty large. They're probably for the, just judging by the holes, they might be for the, um, for the mast up here, I think. It, uh, is it, it is leveled off, so this one probably fits. Here, so you can probably um, change. The, they have some different thicknesses, so you can probably make it fit your, um, to call them, your box very good, and you can change the angle. I presume there's no um, there's no instructions, <laughs> so 
we'll just um, work it out as we go. So we'll put that over there. And then there's a bunch of screws and some extra inserts for the mast. So if you break one of the small ones, you can, there's some extras. So that's nice. Stainless steel and a Torx um, to build it all up. So that was the unboxing of the foil. The foil from F4, two fuselages, two rear wings, two front wings, one mast, some screws, some shims, and some shims for the mast also. So exciting stuff. I think it's um, pretty cool that it, you have two fuselages and you have two back wings and two front wings. So you will actually be able to have just um, the fuselages um, made ready. So if you are a competition and the wind picks up, you just go choose a smaller sail, you undo three screws here and you put the smaller fuselage with the smaller wings on and you're good to go um, if you need to change down. So only three screws down here. And what stroke me when I... Stroke is... Um, I had an idea when I saw um, the bag it came in. It looks a lot like this bag. <coughs> Actually... It's exactly the same length, the same build up in between, the same one up here. And yeah, you know the IQ file has these big shims. And the screwdriver <coughs> is the same. <laughs> Starboard has put a logo on their bag, but otherwise. One might think that, like with most of the carbon booms, there's probably one big factory in China making all of the files. Please com correct me if I'm wrong, and then I will stand corrected. But just by looking at it, um, I think that um, it's definitely the bags are definitely from the same place. Right now in my IQ file bag, I only have the big fuselage, the other one is in the garage, so we have the fuselage, yeah, it's like 15 cm longer, the longest, but that was also indicated, so, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, bit of different design, the, the um, F4 definitely seem, seems more, I would say aerodynamic, but it's hydrodynamic shaped, so how much it it works, um, testing on the water will tell. And so we have, yeah, this one. Then we have the mast with all the five screws down here in the bottom, so it definitely takes longer time to set up. I have been sanding this a little bit, so it's a bit sharper than the F4. So Therefore, I might need some sharpening too. The lengthwise, this one should be 2 cm shorter. It is. But otherwise, I think this shade. Yeah, the, the F4 one has a little bit more area down here. Probably gives it more stiffness, maybe. They seem just as thick, so bear with me. Uh, the head is definitely different. I definitely need a shim to fit my box. Um, yeah, that's the mast. Weighs approximately the same. And then for the IQ foil, You get this massive 900 and these are 
is called the 800, but that's not its um, square centimeter, that's its how wide it is. So this one is 900, so it's gigantic and not so high aspect. This is the big um, F4 slalom foil. So, also this is for racing up and down, so of course it's bigger, but exciting to see how much before this one lifts compared with the with the F4 foil. But definitely this weighs almost, if not at least, uh, twice as much as this one. Carbon quality otherwise seems somewhat the same, but hard to tell. Yes, I have to test them head to head to tell the difference and then of course you have just um, one tail wing. I had an old cover from an set race foil I had before, which was pretty small um, in the front wing. So I switched to the IQ foil to do up and downwind racing. And <laughs> now I'm switching to smaller front wings again to do slalom. So yeah, that's how the story goes. So um, the, the back wing from the from the IQ file, and you definitely tell that um, the F4 files, they are, you know, if we compare with the small one, they are definitely much more higher aspect. So, yeah, but as you see, same bag, same screws, same, probably same factory. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I'm really, very happy to have gotten this um, new file. Now I have to fit it to the board and stuff like that. And then um, I can hopefully um, within a week do a test of both files back to back and then um, get back to you and tell, um, tell you how it's um, working out. I'm definitely very excited and I hope right now my current top speed on the IQ file is around um, 24 knots and I'm hoping to get more out of this one. So it, fingers crossed, we'll do some better speeds on this one. So um, yeah, but let's see how it goes. So um, until next time, we're still on for the um, sale in trim video and it will be, I hope that um, after this weekend, uh, my mate will have, have gotten his new sale. So we'll both do, as I mentioned earlier, a monofilm sale, sales uh, trim, rig up, first setup guide, and um, and for membrane sales. So it, because there's some small differences, and I think it would be best to do both, so so any everybody can benefit from it. So um, until next time, have fun. See you on the water.